All right. In the last lecture, we have discussed that current is the net flow of positive charge. And mathematically, we can represent current that is I equals dq over dt, where dq is the net positive charge over net time. In general, there are two types of current. So let me just write it over here. Current is basically of two types. So the first type is DC current. And the second type is AC current. Let's see, let's see what are the differences between these types of current. Let's say we have this constant current over time. And let's say current is having some value of 5 amperes over time. So we will say that this is direct current because it is constant over time. However, let's consider some situation where current is varying with time. So again, we have a graph with I and T time and current is say varying like this. So we will say that this is AC current because this is varying with time. So this is the major difference between two types of current. When current is constant with time, we will say this is DC current. And when current is varying with time, we will say that this is AC current. So let me just write a common difference over here. So DC current remains constant. And when we will take AC current, it will vary with time. This type of this type of current that is AC current is used in our household supply. So when we so when you run so when you run your television, refrigerator or air conditioned, basically we are using AC current. DC current is basically used in batteries. Now since we have already defined current as movement of charges right over here, we expect current to have some sort of direction flow. By convention, current has the direction of positive charge. Based on this convention, current may be expressed positively or negatively. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So say that this is some wire and it is having a supply of 5 ampere current having direction from bottom to top. So this you can represent it like this. And also you can represent it the other way that is the, that is the same amount of current is flowing from top to bottom and now you will write minus of 5 amperes. So in this case we will say that 5 ampere of current is moving from bottom to top and in this case we will say minus 5 amperes of current is moving from top to bottom. Both of them are same. So this is just a way of representing current. All right, let's try to solve some really basic problems. So we have a basic problem over here. How much charge is there in 4,600 electrons? So let me just solve it for you. We know that charge on one electron is 1.602 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs. This is the magnitude and the sign is negative. Now we have 4,600 electrons. So the charge on 4,600 electrons will be minus 1.602 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs times 4,600 electrons. See that the charge on one electron is this much. So here I can write minus 1.602 times 10 to the power minus 19 coulombs per electron. So now you can calculate electron with electrons and all you will have is minus 7.369 times 10 to the power minus 16 coulombs. I have basically multiplied 1.602 with 4600. All right. So this was a really basic calculation just to get things started. Let's try to solve one more example. Or rather, I would suggest if you try to solve it yourself. Pause the video and try to solve this yourself. If you face any difficulty, just reach out to me. I will definitely help you out. Also, I have attached solution to this problem. If you face any difficulty, just have a look. 
I have given step by step solution to this problem. For those who are trying it out, let me just give you the final answer. The final charge in 6 million electrons will be 9.612 times 10 to the power minus 13 coulomb. So this is the charge in 6 million electrons. Try to solve this yourself. I'll catch you in the next lecture.